Hello, this is Smarter Prepping with Uncle Mark, and I'm Uncle Mark. Today is Thursday, the fourth day of April, 2024. Yeah, Thursday, the fourth day of April, 2024. Yes, yes, yes. Now, <clears throat> This is my supposedly kind of sort of backyard veggie garden. I want to prop this up. I'm going to get another stick of wood and put it on the side of this to hold that up better. Okay. Then everything else is pretty good. Okay. Obviously, i got to take all these things out of my garden bed. See, this is scrap lumber and scrap pipe. <laughs> and blue scrap plastic text plastic pipe. Anyway, all this stuff is things I salvaged. That's part of a crib back there, that wooden thing. Of course, those are tomato cages. All that stuff is to keep my tomato. Because last year, last year my tomatoes were up this way, and they were massive bushes, and they leaned out this way towards me. They leaned out, they leaned out, they leaned out. It was crazy. So I want to keep them corralled back. I just got to keep an eye on, I'm going to manage them better, more consistent. What I did, I went and just now I spent $30. In my last video, I said, I'm pinching pennies, I'm pinching pennies. Yes, I'm pinching pennies. But I spent $30. $30? Uncle Mark spent $30 on tomatoes and onions. Look at the tomatoes and onions. Oh, my gosh. Seven tomato plants and two bundles of onion plants. That's probably too many onion plants. But I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. I've never had good luck growing onions. So we'll see. Maybe this time it'll... My luck will change. We'll see how it goes. And I um, I was cleaning out leaf street gutters and parking lot gutters. You know, you got the curb, and then down at the bottom of the curb, the leaves build up, the oak leaves, oak leaves, oak leaves. And I took three bags of rotten oak leaves. They were so rotten they had earthworms in them. I figured, well, if it's so rotten they got earthworms in it, that's pretty good compost. So I took three three bags of that that I was cleaning out of the street gutters and threw it in here. Now the management sprays plant poison. They sprayed plant poison down this way. I saw the guy spray it down through this way, outside of my garden, right? Because they don't want to have to come around with the string trimmer, string trimmer, and trim, 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 trim right? So uh, okay, that's what he did, but. Makes me nervous because he plant that's plant poison down this way, but I guess it shouldn't affect my stuff. And years past, plant poison has been spread along here. That's why I wanted to do the ra I put in the raised bed using scrap lumber and this and that, and put in. I bought up. I spent a lot of money last year buying. A, see the little bitty white perlite thingies in there. Spent a lot of money last year trying to get uh, buying soil. You know, the good uh, potting potting mix. And then the good chicken manure composted chicken manure fertilizer. And like I say, I've added my rotten oak leaves. If, if it's rotten enough that the earthworms are living in it, it should be good. So what I'm going to do, this is like a before and after, except I'm not that skilled with a camera where I can get, combine the before, before and after. I'm posting this video. I'll give this up in a few minutes. Um, I'll post this video. And then at some later date, perhaps tomorrow or later, I'll post the video where it looks after. Look at this grass growing in there. Get the, obviously, I've got to take everything else in my aluminum cans. I'm gonna, here's my aluminum can crusher. See my can crusher? I mounted my can crusher to a 2x4. I mounted the 2x4 <laughs> to a freight pallet, an old freight pallet that was salvaged from one of the basements here. These are the cans that are already crushed in that bag that's hanging on the pallet. See? And these are cans that need to be crushed. Actually, a lot of these have been crushed by car tires out in the streets. A lot of these are already flattened, so I'll go through. I may take that bag and dump it in the middle of that porch there, and then just pick out from there instead of trying to grab each one by one from the bag. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go back inside to finish up my video. I got hooked on the idea of going in front of the, the mirror. <laughs> That mirror, I paid fifty dollars for that. And keep in mind, every video I want to, I want to say until I get the skills to, to. Um, and I just wanted to show you that before video. Excited to say, look at all, look at all Uncle Mark's dirty dishes. I was just watching uh, a beautiful mess. 
Oh, she's so funny. She has apparently she has a husband. She has a husband, a small dog that appeared in the video, and at least one child who's like a teenager, I think. Okay. So, with herself, husband, a child, and maybe just two or three children for all I know, big dog. Her home gets a little messy, but the part's not as bad as mine. How <laughs> much worse? And she was talking about she was showing her her kitchen a little messy, and then she cleaned it up this and that. She did a couple of videos like that. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not into cleaning videos. That, that later on I will post a video. Just like later on I'll post a video with a garden, my tomatoes and onions got been planted, and they still won't look that great when they're just planted. They're just wimpy until they start to actually grow. And likewise, I've, I've shown you, if, if you're a regular viewer of mine, do I have any regular viewers? Sister-in-law, maybe somebody? You've seen where I have my clean dishes over here, and I say, Oh, come on, I've got these dishes done! Yay! But at the moment, no, I'm in between. i got to get, <laughs> get it to work. Yeah. But anyway, but I mentioned that, yeah, I, my last video said I'm pension pennies. Yes, I'm pension pennies. Yes, I spent $30, like three ten dollars bills, $30. But I started out with Seventy-five dollars walking around money. Seventy-five dollars cash walking around money. Spent thirty. That means I still have forty-five dollars. Yes, I still have forty-five dollars walking around money. So there. So I'm still pinching pennies. <laughs> oh, I still have to show you. I got to show you again that 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 cart. It's so nice. As I went over to a nearby place where they sell tomato plants and onions. I use this cart with that plastic tote that you saw outside, plastic tote in the cart. See? But I roll into the store, set my plants in the plastic tote, roll it up to the register, give me my three ten dollar bills, and a little bit of change. And I'm good. Anyway, so as I always tell you, my wife Tanya, smooch Tanya. Oh we were married for a solid ten years. She died two years ago. And please ignore the date in the upper left corner. It says 2022. That's not correct. I already told you it's 2024. See what time it is? See, it's 25 minutes, 24 minutes until 7 p.m. The days are getting longer. Uh, during the shortest, shortest, shortest days, the sun would go down by like 5 p.m. Uh, I made a motto in those days. I said, out the door by 4, out the door by 4. So I get some walk. You can walk around in the sunshine. Sun, sunshine, fresh air, exercise, exercise, outside, 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 outside. Okay, but now, no, it's still daylight now. I can, besides I don't really have to walk, I can just plant my garden. So I'll plant my garden, okay? So, hello, brother-in-law. Hello, sister-in-law. Hello, three small children. Uh, okay. And as Tanya always, Tanya always likes to say, later, Taylor. So, are you ready? Three. Two, one. Later, Tater.